So since the latest update on your Fire Sticks Fire TV devices and the latest setting you had to turn off, I've had many requests in the comments for every setting you need to check is turned off. So this video is going to help you do that. First things first, make sure you hit that follow button to stay up to date with all the latest Fire TV updates and streaming updates. And obviously before you do anything on your Fire TV device, you should have your VPN running. If you need one, there is one in the description and pinned comment, or you can just comment and I will send you it or message me. Okay, so there's one section we need to start with for your settings, okay? We can start with the new setting, but you need to check your Fire TV devices up to date. So to do that, you go to settings, my Fire TV, about, and then check for updates. That will check you up to date. I'm now up to date for when I'm filming this video. Okay. The next one you want to do in your settings still, um, there's only one in here, but go to applications and you want to turn off automatic offload. This automatically offloads unused apps when your Fire TV is low on storage space. App data will be saved so you can easily reinstall the app later. It seems it just offloads whatever it wants and applications that aren't in the Amazon App Store. So it's worth turning off so you don't wonder where your apps have gone. Perfect. There are two simple bits to start with and majority of the next ones are all in your settings. So you go back to settings, then you go to preferences, okay? Majority of settings now to turn off are in here. So we will start at featured content. These can sometimes turn back on as the updates push because they want to show you the adverts. Allow featured uh, rotator to autoplay video when off, only still images will appear. So if you turn this off and you turn the audio autoplay off, this big advert at the top here won't show you a video, which is really loud and really annoying. It will just show you a picture, okay, which is much better. Okay, preferences. Next one, notification settings, quite simple in here. Uh, change it to do not interrupt on, so it shouldn't interrupt you. And you can go through one by one and turn off notifications as well, just to be sure on your device. So they're all off for you as well to save you getting any of those annoying orange notifications. Data usage monitoring. This should be turned off unless, unless you are on a internet service, which you have a specific amount of data. Okay. So if you've only got so much data you're allowed to use per month, have this on and obviously set it correctly. Otherwise, you don't need your data usage to be monitored. And the big ones. These are all the big ones to go off. This is the new one at the top here. Manage sharing from apps. Allow supported apps to share your viewing and content information with Amazon. Manage sharing from apps. You want that turned off. You don't want it. Allow supported apps to share your viewing. No thanks. This is mainly based on third party apps and you don't want them knowing what you are doing with them and what you're watching on there. Then they give that information to other companies so they can advertise to you. Same with cookie consent. You want this one turned off because as you'll see in the middle here, having it on will allow 103 third parties to display and measure personalized ads, generate audience insights and develop and improve products. So they want to send that to 103 third parties. Off. Device usage data. Off. Use personal data collected by the operating system. No. Collect app usage data. Again, this is very similar to manage sharing from apps. The app usage data is based on their own apps. Off. Interest-based ads, off. And Amazon Photos, I have it off because I don't want it linked to my phone, but it's more of a preference, that one. Okay, that's the main ones in there. There's a couple of others we can change about. Um, in, where are we? Display and audio. Under here, if you have a screensaver setting, it's worth turning it off, okay? I don't have a screensaver setting because this is a newer version with the ambient experience. Um, you can turn off as well if you want to, but I don't mind the ambient experience. But the screensaver coming on will come on and use resources, which is then just using it. So when you want to suddenly do something, it's running very slow. Also under here, it's worth turning on HDMI CEC device control. That means that your remote can control the TV and your TV remote can control your Fire Stick and along across the HDMI, okay? So you need to turn it on in your TV as well. This is very useful if you lose this little magic thing here. If I'm going too fast, it's just how I do things. Just feel free to rewatch the video. You'll get it as you go through. You can watch it as many times as you want. It's free to watch. Okay, audio. I like to turn off navigation sounds. 
Does these annoy me? Again, that's more of a personal preference. And apart from that, there's not too many more you need to turn off. Um, those are the key ones, okay? They are the key ones. Keeping your device up to date, making sure those data ones are turned off, make, make sure all the sharing ones are turned off. You don't want all this information going to Amazon. Get yourself your VPN. Um, if you need one, we do have one linked on here, a special offer with 83% off for you. So that is linked directly underneath in the description and the pinned comment, like I said. If you can't find it, just comment about the VPN offer and I'll paste it for you in a reply. And if you're watching this on any platform, you can message me and ping it there as well, So or comment it, and I'll get it over to you. Many people have been signing out recently, so if you need more information, just check out some of our other videos, because we do have many videos here on VPNs, settings, updates. It's worth following so you can stay up to date and stay safe online, because things are changing all the time. Sports season is just about to get going again. We've got tons of content coming for you. And I've been Dr. Squiffy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.